um, probably why Instagram was being homophobic. And I was like, get out. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm a very unfiltered person. Go fucking figure. And Midori is a very giving person and a great friend. Um, so it was, it was so nice to do scenes with her because I felt like very comfortable to mess up and or like be vulnerable um so that was really nice and uh she's really fun to work with and also just such a smart actor like so good at what she does definitely um okay let's get into some fan questions uh i do want to ask first uh yeah i'll do like my own rapid fire has it been established yet if leighton can sing it has not been established yet <laughs> it has not been established. I think I have I have my own thoughts, but that's 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 for a different a different a different time, a different day. But I have my own thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, I like this from Tasha Stali. Uh thoughts on the ship name, uh Laylisha for Layden and Alicia. My thoughts are that that's very hot. <laughs> and I love it. Have you heard any other ship names? Like has there been debate on what to refer to them? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Literally, I had a friend send to me. I cannot remember who it is off the top of my head. So if this friend is watching, punch me later because I cannot remember. Um, but somebody told me a Layton, and that just made me laugh. It just <laughs> made me laugh. Now Laylisha is sexy. It's got grit. It's got the drive. It's got the candor. So I am voting Laylisha. Um, but yeah. A uh, Leighton was also a very, very close runner up. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like a uh, Leighton on the street, Laylisha in the sheets, I guess? Um, I heard. <laughs> I love really it. Care? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, well, yeah, I think this is. Well, here, let's go to some other people. Um, okay. Oh, Alain. yeah. This. Okay. Um, what advice would you give Leighton if you could? That's from Hannah Katz. Oh my God. Um, like, I would love to sit with her for coffee, for dinner, for life. She needs a friend. She needs some help. Um, I think probably the biggest piece of advice that I would give to Leighton is uh, to relieve yourself of like the fear of other people's opinions and also acknowledge that like the fear of other people's opinions is actually rooted in your own bigotry. Mm -hmm. So like maybe be yourself and realize that like the reason you're not being yourself is because you are actually judging who you are on other people. And you're like, well, I don't want to be that. Um, so it has nothing to do with anyone else and literally everything to do with her, which is like so loaded. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the best piece of advice I'd, give to her and also yeah. probably like in life maybe I should take that advice and I don't know <laughs> um but yeah just to like relieve herself of of that because it's actually her own thing not really anyone else's and to yeah. also just like not be such a dick she's so mean she's so mean she's so funny like she would be so much fun to be around if she was not such a dick um yeah. what a shame <laughs> what I like, though, by the way, quick rapid fire. Hi to Mexico. Hi to Brazil. Hi, Pauline, who said hi in the comments. <laughs> hi, um, but uh, one thing I really like, though, is like in why I don't know, fictional character, but why I could see myself being friends with Layton is mm -hmm. that it feels like this East Coast thing of like, she's not exactly a mean person when you get to know her, but you have to like climb the wall yeah. that she's built up. And yeah. so it's one of those things where like, once you're in, like you're way in you're and good. down to the bit. Look, one thing about her, the bitch is so consistent. Like she's <laughs> so consistent. That is the one thing I will applaud her on because I am a very inconsistent person. I'm like, ah, and then like everything is fine. Um, she's so consistent. Like she knows so much. <laughs> she's so <laughs> wise yet so dumb. <laughs> Um, definitely. Okay, let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I think this is pretty good. Um, deep question, Tasha Sally. Was it a lot of pressure to play a character that is generally underrepresented? I think, 
I think it honestly was more pressure in my brain to mm. um, just be authentic uh, to my to myself and and to an experience that I know very well, which I thought was going to be a very like fun and easy thing to do. I was like, oh, well, this I know. So I can like step into this world. And it was the hardest part of the job mm. um, because it means so much to me. Mm. Um, so I think the pressure was more to like do this right in my own body, if that makes any sense. Like it, I, I just remember feeling so like, overwhelmed at times because I was like oh the things that I'm saying like I came out a very long time ago but like I still these are still in my head and like I remember how this felt and I remember what that felt like on me and I remember what that didn't feel like on me and I remember what scared me about it and what I loved about it and how much I've grown since then um so it was more just pressure to like be myself and stop judging myself because I would get so in my head about certain things that like I have already known about myself for a very long time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but no, long totally. story short. <laughs> and I think that the story of the show isn't necessarily like the traditional like surprise someone has to come out. It's more of it's a story about like again being perceived. Like sure, she sure. specifically is holding the secret in because she's mm -hmm. trying to control how people right respond to her right and it wasn't I don't think it was until like the show like started to come out that no pun intended when the show started to come out um that I even like realized how much it meant to me I think and also like to other people but um yeah it was I've had a lot of like very good conversations with people I've either like grown up with or like family members of mine who like kind of have been like with me through it all. And um, it's been very healing for me too. And I actually didn't even really know that I needed any extra healing, but don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna look, let's dive in for maybe one more question. Yeah. Um, oh God, these are so, <laughs> guys, these are so deep. Oh, oh. this was a good way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Steph from BHS, how does it feel to know your character will be a huge part of some acceptance of themselves? Um, well, it may be the, I mean, going to cry. Um, damn, I mean, yeah, it means, it means a lot to me because I had, I was very, it, this is really what makes me cry. I was very fortunate to have really good people in my life and really close people to me um, when I was like a kid, kid, like baby kid. And um, like my, my cousin was very integral in my, I hope I'm saying integral, right? I'm not sure. Oh, we'll check yeah. back later. You okay, I heard. Amazing. Um, yeah. My cousin was very integral in my comfort and my identity as a kid. Mm -hmm. And um, i I do not take that lightly and she's somebody who I love admire and am very grateful for because she had already kind of been through that she's older than me so she had already been through the thing and so she was like hey I got you we can do this together and I'm going to be here for you uh, because I needed somebody there for me and so it means like more to me than I probably could ever uh, put into words and also to see like there's like a little like corner of the internet and like a community that we're kind of all a part of that's like young like queer people who are like yes 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 I feel that I resonate with that and so sometimes I even feel so much comfort just by like seeing the things that people say and like seeing that somebody's like how does it feel to know that like she'll be integral and like people coming into themselves and accepting themselves that like I can't even process what that means to me because I remember what it was also like to see like queer characters that identified similar to me as a kid like mm -hmm. when I watched Glee I'm, I wasn't even a huge musical theater person at the time, but to watch Glee and like see these two people together, I was like, oh, I love this show. I love this show. I love this show. <laughs> and it wasn't even really that I loved musicals at the time. I was just like, I see that. I know that. And I, that resonates with me. That makes me feel better. So um, it means more to me than I could literally ever process. And I literally am so uh, grateful to anybody that it affects. And I also like, hope I can do it justice because it, it means a lot to all of us. Yeah. 
That's awesome. And on top of that, too, you get to make people laugh while doing it as well. There's layers. Yeah, I know. I love it. I love it. I get to say like such traumatic things on the show and then make a joke out of it. And for me, that's the artistic process. Art imitates life. Amazing. Uh, well, to wrap, I want to uh, remind people, I think there's five episodes left. Um, the show, is it Wednesdays, Thursdays? When do new episodes come out? Thursdays. Okay, Thursdays. New episodes of Sex Lives of College Girls on Thursdays. Of course, people also want to know what's next. Can we expect music coming? Any more uh, film or TV projects? Return to Broadway? Who knows? The world oyster. So if we could. End I on think that. Uh, any and everything. Any and everything. I'm in New York right now doing something. And then I'm going back to LA to do another thing. So things are looking up here in Zulak. Ah, uh, so yes. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Renee. Uh, thank you. EWC and Steelers. You guys can watch Renee rap play Layton on Sex Lives of College Girls on HBO Max on Thursdays. We got five more episodes. You guys, I can't get enough of it. You will feel oh, this. Thank you. Um, thanks. So much to you. And thank also you. thanks to the audience. You guys asked yeah. some great Thank you all for being here. And I love every single one of you. I'm so glad you like the show. And I'm so glad that we all can just chill in this little space. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, but have a great rest of the day. You too, babe. Talk to you soon. Right. See ya. Bye.